Hey there, ready to dive into something fun? We're looking at the 2022 Mercedes-Benz SL63 AMG 4 Amatic Cabriolet. Oh yeah, this is a good one. Definitely looks like a fun car. You know, I was going through the material and it's not just a pretty face, it's got some serious history behind it. Really? Like what? Well, did you know the SL class goes all the way back to the 50s? Wow, back then, huh? I did not know that. Yeah, and get this, SL stands for Sport Light sport light. So they were already thinking about performance and weight back then. That's cool. It seems like they knew this car was destined for greatness right from the start. But all right. All right. Let's pop the hood on this thing because that engine. Yeah. What is it? Like a V8 or something? 4.0 liter V8 Paturbo. Handcrafted even. Okay. Now that's impressive. Handcrafted. You don't hear that every day. It's like they took all those years of engineering expertise and poured it into this one engine. I mean, 577 horsepower, 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds. Those are some serious numbers. We're not kidding. That's that's getting into supercar territory. Right. But I was reading about it, and it doesn't sound like it's just raw, untamed power. No. What do you mean? They keep talking about how the power is delivered in a way that's both exhilarating, but also really refined. So it's not just about going fast. It's about going fast well. Exactly. They really emphasize the whole driving experience. Well... Which, you know, makes sense when you consider the whole design of the car. It's meant to be seen, you know. Oh, absolutely. From the pictures you shared, it's stunning. Those lines are incredible. They kept using the word muscular to describe it, but also graceful, which I thought was an interesting contrast. That's Mercedes for you. They always manage to blend sportiness and elegance so well. And don't even get me started on the fact that it's a convertible. Right. They brought back the soft top, which I think is a great touch. It's like they took everything iconic about the old SL models and gave it a modern twist. I like that. Honoring the past, but looking towards the future. Speaking of the future, can we talk about the interior of this thing? Oh, yeah, because from what I saw, it's like stepping into a luxury spaceship. Right. I mean, come on. Heated and ventilated seats, a touch screen that's basically a small movie theater. It's ridiculous. It's the little touches that get me, though. Okay, what, look what? The air scarf. Apparently, it blows warm air on your neck. Yeah. Like, who needs a scarf when your car can do that for you? Exactly. It's those little details that elevate the whole driving experience. I love that they put so much thought into it. It's those little things that really make you appreciate the thought that went into it. Totally. But it's not all about comfort and luxury, right? I mean, this thing has some serious tech under the hood. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, the rear wheel steering. Pretty wild, right? Wait, rear wheel steering? I thought that was for, like... Serious sports cars. It is, but they put it on this SL63. It actually helps with maneuverability at lower speeds. So you're telling me this big, luxurious convertible can handle, like, a much smaller car. Yeah, and then at higher speeds, the rear-wheel steering kicks in to provide more stability. Okay, that's pretty impressive. They really thought of everything. It's like they took every possible scenario into account. Want to cruise comfortably, they've got you covered. Right, and if you want to, you know... Unleash the bees. They've got that covered, too. The AMG Ride Control Plus adjusts the suspension based on your driving style and the road conditions. So it can go from, like, a relaxed cruiser to a hardcore sports car just like that. Exactly. The <laughs> best of both worlds. And then there's the sound, which, have you heard anything about it? Oh, yeah. One of the articles mentioned it. Apparently, the exhaust note on this thing is something else. It's true. Mercedes-AMG knows how to make an engine sing. But they also understand the importance of safety. That's why this car has a whole suite of driver assistance tech. I mean, it makes sense. You're driving this powerful, luxurious machine. It's good to have a little backup. Lane keeping assist, adaptive cruise control, you name it, this SL63 probably has it. So you can sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride knowing that the car's looking out for you. Exactly. It's all about enhancing the experience, making you feel confident and in control. I do have to say, learning about this car... It definitely checks a lot of boxes. It's got the performance, the looks, the tech. It's got the history. You're right. There's something about this car. It just feels special, you know? Yeah, it's like it represents a certain ideal, like a perfect blend of old school automotive passion and modern technology. It does make you wonder, though, this level of luxury and performance, it's got to come with a pretty hefty price tag. I'm guessing it's not exactly something you'd find with a starting MSRP sticker on the window. Let's just say this is a car for people who value experiences. Yeah. And who can afford those experiences. That makes you wonder then, who is this car actually for? Like, who's the target audience? Yeah, that's a good question. On one hand, you have your classic car enthusiast who appreciates the power, 
the handling, the craftsmanship. But then you also have like a new generation of drivers who are looking for something more than just a car. Exactly. They want something that makes a statement, something that reflects their own personal style and success. So it's like a status symbol, but not in a flashy way. Right. It's more about, like you said, a quiet confidence. It's funny how a car can say so much without actually saying anything at all. I know, right? It's all about the feeling it evokes. It does make you wonder, though, going back to the engine for a second. What about it? This V8. We touched on this earlier, but what makes it so special? Besides being handcrafted, obviously. Well, it's all about how they design and engineered it. They focused on responsiveness, smooth power delivery, and a really rich sound. You know what it's like? It's like the difference between like, listening to a compressed digital audio file and then listening to a vinyl record. Yes. That's a great way to put it. There's a depth and warmth there that you don't get with most modern engines. It's like they managed to capture that raw essence of what makes a V8 so special. It's all about the feeling. You can feel it when you step on the gas. It's interesting, though, because we've talked a lot about the positives. But from everything we've learned, were there any downsides that stood out to you? Were there any downsides that stood out to you? You know, even with a car like this, it's not perfect. Oh, really? Like what? For one, all that tech we talked about, it might be a bit much for some drivers. Too much of a good thing, you mean? Right. Like some people just want to get in and drive, you know? They don't need all the bells and whistles. I can see that. What else? Well, there's the price tag, obviously. It's a significant investment, to say the least. Yeah, that's true. But like we said, this isn't really a car for everyone. Exactly. It's aimed at a very specific buyer, someone who understands and appreciates what this car represents. It's a statement piece for sure. Absolutely. It's okay. about the experience, the craftsmanship, the heritage. It makes you wonder, though, with all the talk about electric cars and sustainability, mm -hmm. does a car like this still have a place in the world? That's a Big question. And honestly, I don't think there's an easy answer. It's a tough one, for mm -hmm. sure. On the one hand, you have the environmental impact to consider. But on the other hand, there's something to be said for the emotional connection we have with cars. Especially cars like this, right? There's a certain passion, a history that you just don't get with every vehicle. Exactly. It's about the feeling, the experience. And I think that's something worth preserving in whatever form it takes. I like that. So maybe it's not about choosing one over the other. Maybe it's about finding a way for both to coexist. <laughs> exactly. Innovation doesn't have to come at the expense of passion. Well said. Well, I think that about covers it for our deep dive into the 2022 Mercedes-Benz SL63 AMG 4MATIC Cabriolet. It's a car that's full of surprises, that's for sure. It certainly is. A true modern classic, if you ask me. It makes you think about where the future of the luxury car market is headed. Who knows what innovations we'll see. But one thing's for sure, it's going to be an exciting ride. And on that note, thanks for joining us for this deep dive. Until next time, keep exploring and keep your eyes peeled for the next big thing that captures your imagination.